party on, dudes. Hi, welcome back to the Dude Blog. What I'd like to talk about today is the new exciting EL Range Savorskis. I just got them in. So these are the 10 by 42 range finders. So I don't know a ton about these, but I thought I'd get on here and talk about what little bit I know about them. Uh, first of all, I am retiring my Vortex HD Furies. I've had these for several years. They've been a fantastic. I can't really, other than the glass is not as good as the Savorsky, um, I cannot complain about these. These are a great, uh, especially if you're just getting into um, hunting or guiding and you want some range finders built in your binos. I put, I put a lot of miles on these. They've never given me any problems. I'm just looking for some better glass. Uh, these are a, uh, a 10 by 42. They're a fantastic uh, range finder built in. Great starter. You can get these for about 1400 bucks, I think. Anyways, um, so the Savorsky range finder, um, these are the 10 by 42s uh, EL range. Um, these have what I am reading about and what I understand about them. The technology, not only can you use your application on your phone so you can download the EL range app, you can download ballistic data in there. Um, one thing that I really am finding that I'm super impressed with, being that this is a uh, internal rangefinder bino, so this eliminates um, everything else. So when you're archery hunting, by the way, the button's on the right side now. So if you're an archery hunter, right side is gonna save your life. Um, that's something they switched over. It used to be on the left side. Uh, these also, what I'm reading about, have the Swirl Vision glass. So to be able to have a rangefinder with that type of glass and with the ability uh, with something else that's super exciting is the tracking. Um, and how the tracking I'm understanding is working is that if you have cell phone service or it'll download the data, so the last three points that you shot with this, um, it'll actually overlay on Google Maps. So that's gonna help out tremendously. But all in all, just the weight, the balance, they weigh 32 ounces, I believe. I think these are gonna be a great add-on for what I do in guiding. Um, uh, let's see, the overlay, I discussed that, the Swirl Vision glass, 10 by 42. There's a lot of conversation about, you know, what size binoculars you ought to go with. If you're doing what I'm doing, so I'm in Alaska guiding uh, moose and brown bear, um, and then I'm in Montana guiding elk hunts. I want the best glass possible and I want to get the most range I can possible. So I think the 10 by 42s are going to be the best for your money. These I think retail for about 36, 3,700 bucks. Um, they're not cheap. I mean, that's, you know, you're going to get what you pay for, you know, comparing these size wise to the, uh, to the HD Furies, they're taller. Um, they don't feel like they're as thick. They have a thinner frame on them than the HD Furies. I'm not trying to compare these because it is night and day. Um, I did look through these earlier. The glass is just, I mean, you're buying the best glass out there. Uh, you're getting range finding capability. It's an all-in-one deal. Um, it comes with, in the box, it comes with a case. So you'll get a case with it, you know. Nice case, it's got information. Um, downloadable information on it. You know, if they do every, you know, what I found with Swaro is they do everything first class. Um, I can't say a bad thing about Savorsky. You know, they're obviously not the cheapest, uh, cheapest one in the group, but what are you, you know, you're going to get what you pay for. Looks like it comes with some covers for the back end on the lenses. Uh, looks like they got some straps, come with straps. And it's another chest strap, it looks like. And let's see what else they got here. What's in this box? Ooh, a cleaning brush. So they got a bar, a fancy bar, and then a cleaning brush to go along with it. I'm assuming this is for... Wow, super fancy stuff. So. That is my two cents on these. The glass is phenomenal. Um, yes, they are expensive. I think we can all agree with that. But again, when you're looking at like uh, 
um, Zai, some of these other brands, I don't think they're that bad. So, uh, there's some fancy tool right there. And then the clips for your bino harness that go on the side. So these will mount right here. So I'm assuming this, oh, I see. So these pop off here like this. And I don't know exactly what these are for, but anyways, unlock and lock. Looks like you can mount these right on, which I'm getting ready to do. I'm assuming that pops right back on there maybe. I'm gonna have to look into that. Anyways, that's my review. I think that looking face value, these are gonna be much better. Glass, the tracking capabilities, the technology of these are far superior than these. These are great for your first out the gate. You're just trying to figure out the game. Uh, this is definitely getting up to the big boy leagues when you're playing with these. So that's my two cents on these. Try them out. Check it out in my bio. I'll have some information on this, some more detailed information in the description. And you can make your own decision based on these. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you know about these that I don't, that you like or dislike. I'm interested to learn as well. Thanks for watching.